Beta 300 Race Edition 2023. This is New Bike Day. Hey, I had to do more than one intro video. I'm just having too much fun in the woods. Kayaba suspension, uh, the uh, diaphragm clutch, short stroke engine. Man, I was excited to try this bike. There's a lot of changes. I haven't had a Beta for a while. So what I'm doing is just putting around here in the woods and all just get the getting the feel for this bike now let's go back in the trails here and then we'll come out here in the wide open now some of the things I've noticed and I probably mentioned on my first ride is the um, steering stops but that's that's kind of a known thing on the betas Hopefully we can, we'll dial those in a little bit. I haven't messed with them yet, but man, this Kiaba suspension, wow. Very absorbing. The other thing is this, just the smoothness of the engine, just the power character and how you can dial it in. And you can clutch it and make it rip if you want, or just kind of, it's slick in here, but you can just kind of torque down it, get it to pull. Everything's stock on the bike, stock clickers. And it just got that nice 300 torque. We got some, we got some tr trees down. Lots of, lots of wind storms. It's still just great to get out in the woods and play. I haven't been here for a while, so I'm kind of forgetting where I'm supposed to be going. There's like little choppy stuff here. Man. It just Kiaba stuff just absorbs it so well. Here's that little climb. Torque it down. With a front end just just points I love the way that feels I remember where we're going look at that just so easy but even like I said even standing up feels really good I'm 6'2", 190 pounds, and even these even these bars feel really good. They're low, but the the pegs are down far enough that it's not a it just works. <laughs> so I remember how to get back out of here. And the uh, Galford discs with Nissan calipers brakes feel very controllable. Oh yeah, nice power. Even just chugging along, it just clean running. Definitely got a little more vibration than my KTM, but you know, at the bars, it's not really a big deal. I can notice it through my feet more. Man, 
this thing just rips. I just love something that you can just torque along and then just clutch it and go. Boy, that sun's going down, I can't even see. But the, I think this 300 smoker engine short stroke, I think it just calms down the, I think it just calms down the power a little bit. So, listen to that. It's got the spacer on the power valve. I don't know if that's supposed to make it hit harder or broaden the power. Super nice. So, suspension, two big thumbs up. Tiaba's good stuff. Power, super smooth. A little bit of vibration through the pegs, for sure. Handlebars, I think it's just, it's like I said in my initial parking lot ride, it's, it's acceptable. It's not a big deal. Um, could it be better? Yeah. KTM set the bar on that. Uh, seat, hard as a rock. But boy, the engine, that smoothness, that character. And steering stops, yeah, these are actually turned out a little bit. So, looks like I got a little bit more. I can dial those in. I actually like these stock beta grips and brakes. Clutch is super easy. Got high-low beam, front and rear brake light switches. Easy for dual, dual sporting. Got the good chain and sprockets. Man, race edition. Plus, it just looks good. Two big thumbs up. There'll be more of these videos. I'm going to do some back-to-backs with it with my 350 Caleb Russell and my 23300 XC TBI. So we'll have classic two-stroke carburetor versus fuel injected. Lots of back-to-back -back rides coming. For now, two big thumbs up on the 2023 Beta 300 Race Edition.